Hi everyone, how are you going? Big updates tonight. Happy update tonight for one family. Let's wait and see for our notification to let me know that we're live. And we'll see how we go. Dum, 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 dum. I just have to wait. Oh, here we are. We're live. Okay. So, good news for the Kalgoorlie family. The mum, the mum that we were fighting so hard, helping her, the lady that we managed to fundraise for a month's rent, she got off the car today. Yay! So now she can get some, some normality back into her life and, um, and, uh, move forward. Well, as much as she can. But, uh, yeah, thank you to everybody who helped with that fundraiser, the GoFundMe. It certainly kept that lady going and she's not going to be homeless, neither are her kids. And, uh, yeah, thanks guys for all your help. I know she's very happy about the decision and she thanks all of us and you for all of the help that you helped out with to keep her going. So, uh, yes, she's off the card. And I'll give you a tip. She didn't activate the card and she went for a well-being exemption. Okay, um, and her doctor's letters and, and her psychiatrist rang them and spoke to them directly. And even though it took a month, she's off. So that's good news. That's good news. Fingers crossed for Mahalia. She's still waiting. We'll see what happens. So, and of course the lady who's waiting for her $35,000 to come back to her. They like, seem to be want to be hanging on to that a little bit longer. So um, we'll see how that goes, and I'll keep you informed. You know? <laughs> we do need to get rid of this card. Absolutely. Stephen, absolutely. So what else is on our agenda? Well, we've had a bit of an admin meeting, and um, as we move forward towards whatever's going to be happening in the next few months, we're going to need help. We need to raise some dollars, of course, because the account needs to uh, fund what we're planning. But if you guys want to help out, we need some ideas for some signage slogans. So you can get involved here. <coughs> Comment underneath this live. All right, ideas for banners or... I mean, we've got some ideas as well, but I thought I'd put it out there and see... Now, they need to be really punchy, okay? They need to be straight to the point, not too wordy. Um, some can be a bit comical, maybe, but, yeah, um, can't use sweary words, of course. But, uh, yeah, if you can think of some poster designs or something, you know, a text that we can use, all right? It's a good idea. More heads, you know, I come up with different ideas. So I thought, well, I'll put it out to you guys and... And see what you could come up with in the comments that we might be able to use, make posters with or put on a banner or something like that. And then we also would like to do something else that we're going to plan nationally. Um, but we need to a organise a date. Um, we can't do that until we've organised exactly who we've got in which state to do it. Right. And then... We need to be able to have the funds to be able to, um, let's just say, manufacture something that's very light, but it needs to be manufactured, and we need to have them all over the country. <laughs> I know I'm a bit vague. I don't want to give it away. But we need to have some funds in the bank. Put it this way, I need to be able to, be, be able to make sure that everybody can go out and buy um, a couple of really big sheets of core flu and to be able to make something, okay? So, um, yeah, we need to, we need your help. The, we need to fill up the account so that we can do stuff and get stuff ready because we're not funded. <laughs> and when the time comes, the political parties will have all their funding for their call flus and their signs and their banners. And we have to ask for help from you guys, okay, um, to do the best that we can. Because uh, we're only little. <laughs> so, um yeah basically if you guys can help everything helps do you know what i mean um we need ideas for card signage yeah 
Um, we had some funny ones discussed in our meeting. And, uh, oh, that's no good, Julie. Storms, oh, were you caught up in the dandelions? Storms and no power, bloody hell. That's no good. But, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get some ideas on the table. Let's get some, uh, and we, and then as soon as we can, yeah, if everybody chips in, we can, um, make sure I've got enough shirts for people and stuff like that. And we can do this. Do you know what I mean? Around the country, we can do this. Now, also, if you'd like to volunteer, all right, um, I could use lots of volunteers in each state, okay? Now, as it is, I have admins in each state, but I've got to work out who can actually say, okay, we're going to do this, we're going to be there on a day, and then you guys come and join in. So if you want to message me and um, say, right, I can help, and I'm in Victoria, and give me your number so that I can write down a list of who's can, who's where, you know? Um, so... Um, Karen, I'll just send you the details, and the best way to ask it is, can you chip in or help out? Can't use the D word, okay? <laughs> There's a reason. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, but um, what we can do is uh, get things ready so that we have, like, if you're in South Australia, we've got an admin called Kelly in South Australia. You know what I mean? Um we need someone who can help Amanda in Victoria. Um, you've got me here. It does require that I, if we can do something in Brisbane, I'll have to drive down to Brisbane. That's fine. We'll sort that out. All right. Um, I need to see who wants to stand up in Kalgoorlie type thing. So that sort of thing. You know what I mean? We just want to get out and about with stuff. We want to do something that's pretty radical for us. Because we've always been so calm. <laughs> Let's just say it'll be a surprise to everybody. But I need volunteers, okay? So if you want to PM me in the message box that you can help, right? I mean, this is not tomorrow. This is, yeah, you know, yeah, the funding things we need to do ASAP. Because I can't do anything until we get some pennies in, you know, some shekels in. But, um, so message... Me or the page here, right? Um, and all I need is your name and your phone number and what state you're in. And then I can put that in my book and go, right, SA, WA, Queensland, New South Wales. You know what I mean? Um, Karen's up in Bundaberg, so she can help too. And, um, yeah, P on M M Messenger. And that way we can work out who's where around the country that's serious, that wants to come out, then when we put this together, right, we can contact everybody and go, right, we're going to do this, we're going to do it here, and this is the time and the date, all right? And that way everybody's got warning, fair warning, but we can put things together um, because we need to get some, you know, we need to get some visual, and we need to be seen. And I encourage cardholders to join in too, okay? More cardholders, the better as well um because it's imperative that your voices are heard and that you're seen you know that's what we're here for is to highlight the voices of the people that are on the card so it's, it's so we want to get on the ground as much as possible we want to get out there and be visible right <clears throat> and we want to educate as many people as possible as well but we can't do that without your help um without your support if you need details of how to support us with the shekels, PM me. PM the message box and I'll just let you know the account. Um, so I know a lot of people may not be able to come out and physically support us in that way, as in come out and do um, events. <laughs> I'm being very careful what words we're using because we're not, we're not going to have a million people marching around the country. But I would like to have groups... Of 10 or 20 people at, at this particular event that I want to try and set up around the country and we, we were talking about it last night in our admin meeting and it's good it's quite a shocking event but it's not you're not gonna get arrested <laughs> it's not illegal you know what I mean so no stress guys um, it's peaceful 
It's performance art. That's what I'll call it, performance art. It's just a matter of getting the stuff together and getting it done. All right? But, um, yeah. And it's not going to happen overnight because these things take planning and we need to work out a date. Then we need to give everybody enough notice. All right? But we have to also give ourselves enough time to make a certain prop that has to be made for each state. Um, and I've worked out how to do it with a very lightweight material. I've just got to work out how to do it. And then send, then I can send the schematics around and everybody else can do one. Yeah, I'm not going to give too much more away. But put it this way, we need to do something. We need to do something that's visual. And we need to start doing more of it. As we head towards whatever's coming. And when the election comes, I'm going to need people who can be at pre-poll and polling booths with us. And that's easy job. And we can do that. Again, each state, different, um, you know what I mean? Um, you know, but you can go to the polling areas, the pre-polling areas. You can stand there with a shirt on and you can talk to people and you can have leaflets there, but you can't solicit them, okay? But you can have a leaflet when someone's talking to you. They say, oh, what's that? You can show them, you know what I mean? And they can take it. Um, we need more of that around the country when the time comes, okay? And on polling day, definitely at polling day. We need that around the country at polling booths. So we've got time to build up our no-card army. Let's do this. Let's actually get visual. Okie dokie. So if you want shirt or anything, or you want stickers or badges, message box. If you don't want any of those things, but you just want to chuck in some support, message box. And if you want to volunteer and you're deadly serious about volunteering and it's time to get off the couch and off the keyboard, let's go. Let's, let's organize this properly. Okay. And, um, yeah, it's just, we need to change things, you know what I mean? So we need to get out there and educate the public that aren't on social media um, about what's coming down the track. That's the only thing I can think of doing. So, yeah, if you can work out, yeah, what can you think of an, a slogan? I mean, I've got some ideas, but, you know, um, <laughs> yeah. We come up with a couple of doozies last night, but we can't really print them. <laughs> okay. You know, so, um, yeah, thanks, guys, for all your support that you do. And and now we just need to solidify it and, and actually become real on the ground out there for people to see. We need probably um, 10 to 20 people or more in each state that are going to come out for an event. At least, maybe more, but at least if you send me a message and say you're in South Australia, I can direct you to Kelly in South Australia. If you're in Canberra, I can direct you to um, Darren in Canberra. You know what I mean? That sort of thing. And that way you guys can build up. And I mustn't forget Tasmania. We've got Susan in the northwest of Tasmania. And we've got Elaine in Hobart as well. So, um... We've got myself and Karen up in Hinkler that can organise stuff. And, um, yeah. But, uh, you know, whoever can step up, it doesn't matter. We just need to do more than just be on the keyboard. Okay, guys? So think about what slogans we can use. We'll just have a look and see. Um, and see if there's anything there that we can turn into a poster or turn into a meme or something like that, you know. Um, it's not illegal to do letterbox drops. It costs a lot of money to do letterbox drops, Kelly. Um, pretty cost for leaflets when you're doing letterbox drop style things. Really, you do need to print them by the thousands. And unless you've got an army of walkers, which I don't think we have, it is very difficult to letterbox by yourselves. It's normally done through a company and they put them in with the junk mail and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? It all costs dollars. We haven't done that in, you know. But what you can do is, um, 
notice boards. You know, print out our leaflet and stick it on a notice board, you know, around the place or something like that. You know what I mean? And um, we might look at getting some different leaflets as well. Some We've got the ones with the info. Um, you can print out the infomercial that was posted on the page that Amanda worked on all weekend. <laughs> all right. She's done it in two formats. You've got the video for the infomercial, but she's also done the... the um, you can print out the infomercial pictures and put that together as like a little booklet. You know what I mean? Something like that. Okay, that gives people. Um, if you're going to go out and do anything, because if somebody wants to go out and just stand in, like, okay, we've got Josephine. She gets around Brisbane. You will see the finger <laughs> outside a politician's office. But we prefer, if you want to do something, go and stand outside a politician's office or something like that. Go in the pairs. Usually go in pairs, all right? It's not, um, so, um, yeah, um, no, we don't, we don't do stuff with the Unemployed Workers Union. Okay, um, there's reasons for that, Lachlan, okay? And I'm not going into that here. We do have some connections. We did a joint thing in Melbourne, um, and Canberra in March, but that was with Get Up. Um, that was with Life Campaign, Unemployed Workers Union, ourselves, and a whole heap of other unions. We, you know, so um, so yeah, people can print out. If you look in our photos section, you can print out some of the memes from there, and leave them on notice boards around the place. Stick them on posts. <laughs> you know, so um, anyway, so. Yeah, as I said, I'm not going into that here, Lachlan, and it's nothing to do with us, so we just do our thing. That's what we do, we've always done, you know. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, get together thinking about those slogans and poster ideas and memes, and let's see what we come up with. More heads are better than one, and let's see what we can utilise out of the ideas that came out of our admin group last night and you guys out there. All right, and uh, we'll start working together to get something happening and make sure that we've got enough that each team around each state has got what they need to be able to function, to be able to do events, be able to make sure they've got banners, posters, they've got their shirts, they've got their kit, they've got what they need, you know what I mean? So, um, and that with that, I need to be able to fund that and... That's where I have to say to you guys, can you chip in? And if you can, just let us know in the message box, okay? Um, so that I can start getting stuff organised. And then as soon as we settle on, like, new banners, logos, whatever, then I can order the stuff and get it done and get stuff to each state. So, um, no idea. It's a He's a state... Yeah, Julie, it's, it's a state thing. Oh, I'm not electioneering for anybody else on this page, Lachlan. Simple as that. We don't do electioneering on this page. If somebody puts up a post on their thing that, you know, like, for instance, when Labor at the moment have put their no notices out that they're not doing the card and it's come from a minister and it's an article, we'll post that. If Greens do that... If they post anything else, we don't post anything. We don't electioneer for either of them, and we don't do it for anybody else. And we've always do not done that. Do you know what I mean? So that's the way we are. So, Lachlan, I'm not here to talk about other parties. I'm not here to talk about other groups. I'm here to talk about what we can do as our group, right, to be able to get volunteers that will show up on the day, right, get the... Um, Funds together to be able to fund what we're going to do that, you know what I mean? Um, and what we're doing, okay? Because um, that's what's important to us at the moment is to be able to set up working groups in each state that, okay, let's do this. And, and then people can be there, you know? So um, things like there's an event coming up in Sydney I think it is um, 
with First Nations people. Somebody posted it to the South Australian page by accident, and it's sometime in June. I think it's June 21st. I'm not quite sure. And we were invited to go along to that, but it's in Sydney, right? If you're in Sydney and you've got one of our shirts, check out that. Go down and wear a shirt, hand out some leaflets. Because we always stand in solidarity with First Nations people's issues. And, um, yeah. So, yeah, so, um, okay. Well, that's it for me. And I'm going to uh, sit back and wait and see what ideas you come up with in the slogans, in the comments. And uh, see what happens. See see if we get a couple of perlers out there that we can use. And, um, yeah, just let me know. Anything you need, message box, okay? All right, guys. Thanks for your support. See ya.